you are a firearm owner, experts say it's your responsibility to know how to properly handle and secure them. Yeah, they say while well, leaving a gun in a vehicle really isn't illegal, it's not a best practice. Donnie Tuggles spoke with experts and law enforcement about trends they're seeing across the country. Each year, thousands of guns are stolen in the United States, mainly from vehicles. While it's not illegal to leave your firearm in a car, experts like Shane Savage say it's not the best idea. At his gun range, he teaches the importance of firearm safety, among other subjects. You have to be aware of, you know, your situation, where you're at, and what you want to do, um, because it's all a balance, and it has to be what you're comfortable with and what you're safe with, because if you do something and that firearm falls into the wrong hands, you, you are responsible for that. This year, 53 guns were stolen from cars in Bryan, including three in the past week. While it's fewer than the 73 stolen last year, police are still expressing concerns. They say most thefts happen overnight in residential areas where people leave car doors unlocked. Even if you're locking your car, always take that firearm out at night. Even if you're leaving your car in your driveway, uh, your, your firearm's not going to do you any good if it's, it's, if it's sitting in your car. So. Uh, removing those each night or if you're out running errands, either leaving it at home or having it with you, it's, it's better than leaving it in your car. Back at the gun range, Savage says there are effective methods to safeguard your gun rights, ensure personal safety, and securely store your weapons. There are tons of vehicle mounts that they make that will help secure those firearms and still have them readily available to you um, while still making them more secure from anyone that you don't expect to be in your vehicle or anyone that you do expect to be in your vehicle but you don't want to have access to your firearm. And Brian, Donnie Tuggle, News 3.